PRP is used uh, in a number of regenerative type therapies from facial rejuvenation to hair growth. You know, it's basically taking your blood, spitting it, and separating the growth factors and the quote, platelet-rich plasma that we can use to stimulate, uh, for instance, with hair, you know, uh, dormant hair follicles. And so we, we would inject the scalp after a little topical numbing cream to get that into the dermis in the, in the area of those hair follicles, kind of rid-like batter uh, across the scalp, if you will. And we also use exosomes which have, you know, your plasma, let's just say you have a dozen good growth factors. It's a little more than that, not a whole lot, but you know, they work uh, very well. But when we take exosomes, which are harvested from different techniques from basically what we call perinatal tissue, harvested at the time of birth from three screen donors, so that it's very safe and it has many hundreds, 300 and some proteins, growth factors, messenger RNA, uh, compounds that really stimulate healing at a much higher rate than, than your own plasma can. They're both effective. The thing I like with exosomes that it's an injection once or twice in a year, whereas for PRP to work its best, we do a series of three injections roughly two to four weeks apart. And then it may take one to two injections a year continually to see the best results with platelet-rich plasma. With exosomes, the frequency is much less because they're so powerful.